Hey friends, uh, thank you very much for joining. And today we have Mridul Agarwal, who is one of our AI course enrolled students. And Mridul, congratulations on uh, getting an, an offer as a data science intern at this very interesting logistics company called Aramax India. Aramax, just for those who may not know, uh, is, is one of the companies that works with Applied AI course to hire data science and machine learning folks. And they're a logistics giant in the Middle East. And they're also a publicly listed company, a fairly old company, which works on in, in the area of logistics and supply chain management. And they're, they're also improving their systems using data science and machine learning techniques. So with that, uh, first and foremost, Mridul, thank you very much for taking the time and to share your journey and your learning experiences. It's, it's my pleasure. So Cool, cool. So I'll give a brief background of you and then we'll go into the discussion. Is that all right? Okay, okay sure. Cool. So Mridul finished his B.Tech in mechanical engineering in 2019. And after that, he had a career gap of about a couple of years, during which he picked up AI, machine learning, data science, programming, all of that. And right now, he's joining as a data science intern. And given the amount of effort he has put in, we are very hopeful that he will convert this internship into a full-time role at Aramax or at some other very interesting company in the area of data science and machine learning. So, uh, Mridul, uh, first and foremost, how was your interview experience for this data science internship role? Uh, there were three rounds of interviews. So, first round was the MCQ-based question. It was for about two hours. And they asked questions from mathematics, like all these uh, probabilities, stats, calculus, metric, determinant, all these things. Uh, like, I literally saw, like, eigenvector, matrix, decomposition, matrix, and probability integration a little bit also. But and, that must be slightly easier for you, given that you're coming from mechanical engineering background. Yeah, right? You've studied yeah. most of this during your undergrad days. Yeah. And after that, questions were from data structures and algorithms, and um, uh, and from machine learning, deep learning, like and even in machine learning, like the questions were a little bit trickier. I or I should say harder because they deep dive into the mathematics, and if someone know, knows the mathematics, then only we will be able to solve it. Thank very you. good very good so how what was the duration of this of this objective type round and how many questions were there it was for two hours and the questions were about for in each like in mathematics about 10 to 12 questions in ml also in uh, dsl also oh so they broke it into multiple sections yeah okay how hard was it given the mathematics that you learned and the internals of each of the machine learning algorithms that you learned at applied ai course was it uh, was it significantly harder than what you've learned in the course or was it roughly the same level or easier? It was harder, but like whatever we learned, we can solve it. But also like it was a time constraint also. So due to this, I would say it was harder, but whatever mathematics we have learned, we can solve like I would say 90% of the questions. Good, good, good. So good. So this was the first round. What about the two other rounds that you had after and this? Second round was like they gave, share me with a data set and a problem statement. And they give 24 hours of time to like do everything from building entire data pipeline. So like modeling, EDA, feature engineering, data cleaning, everything. So like I did this and then submitted the solution. So like was I tried this, my model. Was this a problem in logistics and supply chain or what, yeah. what sort of problem was it? Yeah, actually they were solving the same project in rmx right away so maybe i should i will get this project also so oh, okay they, so they gave us they gave a simplified version of one of the problems that they're solving very nice very nice very good so uh so what sort of algorithms did you employ here just curious uh, it was like a regression problem so i use simply like linear regression logic uh, and um, random forest regressor gbdt regressor knn regressor and also like in the task there was like task was to give not the point estimate for regression, but to give the uh, confidence interval. Very but, good, very good. So, I, I due to time constraint, I wasn't able to do did it, but like I learned this new thing, and so, but I very wasn't nice. accepted. Because this this is one of the interview questions that we discussed in one of the live sessions. That imagine if you have a regression problem, how do you come up with the confidence interval around it? Not just a point estimate. It's a very nice thing because. In logistics, you need that confidence interval, right? You have to be able to say, hey, I will deliver this product anywhere from 26 hours to 35 hours. Within that window, I will I will deliver with a very high probability. Makes a lot of sense. Cool, cool. So what was your third round then? 
yeah third round was like a face to face interview it was for one hour and there were two types of question first one was they uh, asked the questions related to assignment like why did you do this why did you do that and like they made some things like i imputed the missing values using median so they uh, told me this scenario and they told that hey this this won't work in real world so you should come up with better idea and even in modeling like they find out some of the things that i missed out during assignment and and second types of question was simple uh, questions around like um, uh, svms like basic questions around the k means and like how to find optimal number of clusters in clustering so like sim oh, simple questions and very nice questions about box plot like why do we use it what is the advantage and like it was like simple like main hard hardest was the first round i think they are using the first round the ob the objective type round as a screening round and whoever is strong in mathematics and basic programming skills will clear that and then it's all about can you solve a real world problem and can you have a discussion with one of the team members very nice very nice so uh, so at the end of the whole process i'm happy that uh, some of some of the stuff that you've learned in the course were helpful but i also wanted to understand what was your learning strategy especially given that you are a student from a non cs background from a mechanical background and hence you may not be very comfortable with programming so what was your learning journey been through applied ai course uh, what, what what are the ups and downs that you had in your journey because i'm sure you would have had that in august i enrolled there and so from in till december i think i completed uh, 24 assignments and like before joining also i took some courses on machine learning on, online but uh, like the they didn't like go in too deep into the concepts like teaching from the first principles like you do like this teaching linear regression from optimization perspective linear linear algebra from probability so but so i had a little bit basic idea so i just joined the course and like straight away started doing the assignments and so for in about 4 months i did 24 of them like after that i scheduled my mock interview i prepared around one and half month just for that so after that like i paused course the course for about two months because i had i problem so after that fir after that two months again i completed the remaining assignments and then spend the, the again the time around the one and half months for preparing again and in in this time i watched only the mandatory content i skipped the optional live sessions so after completed all doing all the 30 uh, assignments and mandatory mandatory content i complete, completed all the live sessions like very good very, very nice strategy and i'm happy that you have taken ample time to revise everything before you schedule the mock interviews so that you can perform well in these mock interviews also very good very good very very nice plan that you had and i'm happy that also you didn't skip the live sessions completely you came back to it after you finished all of your assignments that's one strategy that some students do other students just go it in the watch the videos in the flow which is perfectly all right whatever strategy at the end of the day as long as you're learning we are super happy so very good very good so during the process of learning itself did you have some blockers where you got stuck either in assignments or concepts did you have in some the, of those instances major blockers were in assignment because like in concept i would say like your way of teaching is i mean there is no match for that so in a uh, concept there were i would say 99% of the things i didn't like struggle little bit i have to watch few of the videos like back back propagation through time and xg boost and even in starting in the deep learning section i repeated the video like two three times and and some concepts in transformers also so i did uh, need to revise it again but in assignments like even after like doing python programming it was little bit harder so but major like ha hardest assignment i find found was this attention mechanism assignment and sql assignment now so, we make students implement attention from scratch because lot of students who say hey i know attention i know transformers do not know how attention works internally so we make sure students implement it we understand that it's little challenging but it's time well worth spent so that you become good at programming one because it's more challenging you also understand how attention works internally the nitty gritty mathematical details so i'm happy you 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 got through that of course there, there has to be some challenge right it's rewarding actually like before doing the assignment it was very difficult but 
after i did it like i have uh, full confidence that i can let, let's take the custom model and implement it from scratch like Very after good. that we did a cnet cnet model from scratch that was also a like difficult one but it was a nice practice like now i am confident that i can do do this so as part of your self case studies you also took some research paper models and implemented them from scratch yeah Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So very good. So what suggestions would you give to other students who come from similar backgrounds as yours, probably from a non-CS background and maybe a little bit of career gap and who wants to get into data science roles? What strategies of learning and preparation, what topics would you ask them to focus more on? What are your suggestions in general? Yeah, I would say like first be comfortable with programming because if you are not, you will struggle with assignments. And so I would say, uh, try to spend at least one month and most importantly, importantly solve the Python man optional assignments that you provide, like Python and Pandas optional assignment. And then like, I would say with having career gap and non-CS, like we have to be patient and like put more effort, effort than a CS folks. Like I might, my resume might get rejected sometimes because of non cs background this happens so we have to be a little bit patient and like and when you are solving the assignment don't do do this that like i just have to finish it and i will complete 30 assignments and i will get job guarantee so try to learn as much as possible don't do this mistake i only did the, this mistake in sql assignment and due to this i a uh, little bit missed this adf interview because of silly mistakes so this happens so don't try to rush in the assignments and even in concepts like Try to complete uh, watch the videos uh, at your own pace and don't try to rush. Like whatever the concept it is taught in the course, it's fully sufficient to like transition a career in ML. But we just need to be patient and like give time. Like it's not that we can do this in two three months. Like it's a vast topic. So very very nice points. I'm happy you specifically pinpointed on having the patience to learn and not rush through. The objective of the assignments is not to put a barrier or a roadblock for you. It is for you to absorb the concept and appreciate it. But the reason we have some slightly trickier programming problems or even in SQL assignment, right? We have a few trickier yeah. SQL statements because once you solve them, right? In an interview, you can easily crack anything that comes, uh, that, that is being asked of you. I only rushed, rushed through this SQL assignment only and I missed out on ADS. So. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Life's great lessons. We all learn together. Cool. Very nice, Nudal. I'm very happy that uh, you're joining as a data science intern. I'm hopeful with all of your persistence and hard work, you'll convert this into a full-time role. And most importantly, I hope your experiences and learning journey will help a lot of non-CS folks and probably folks with some career gaps also transition to careers in data science. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, sir. I owe a lot to you. Like I learned a lot of things from you and whole Applied AI team and Thanks for all the support and mentorship. Cool, cool. So again, as we always say, you put in the effort, so you deserve 90, 95% of the credit. We were mostly there just helping you, guiding you, showing you the path, but it's you who put in the effort and deserves most of the credit. So kudos to you. Thanks a lot.